Hi, lovely Earth Signs. Welcome to Joy Energy Tarot. I'm Jenny. This is your intuitive reading for the week of the 3rd till the 9th of June, and I hope it resonates with you. Uh, I'm going to do the reading. I've already done all the shuffling and asking, and if you wait till the end of the reading, you will get your own individual messages for Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. Okay, you start off the week with the Ace of Swords. You guys are overcoming all sorts of challenges, all sorts of di uh, difficulties, and you're now moving forward. This is like coming up with new ideas and new plans. You've got the key now to unlock the knowledge. This is all about ancient knowledge. You are unlocking the knowledge. You might have met someone or seen someone or seen something on TV, and boom, you're coming up with new plans and new ideas, which is going to make you feel very, very happy. The Ten of Cups is contentment and happiness. So that is fantastic. And then you go on to the Seven of Pentacles. So you're pausing. This is where you've been doing something. You've been working really hard. You've earned some money, but you're thinking, is this what I want to keep doing? Is this the way I want to earn money? Or now I've come up with a new idea. Have I got another plan, a different way of earning money? So sevens are all about learning and um, taking time out, not being overwhelmed, overcoming fears, false emotion appearing real. So sometimes we can be stuck in a job because it pays a lot of money, but we hate it. And, but you're too scared to leave because you like the money. But that's what this is about. So only you guys will know. And yes, I would say that some of you are definitely stuck in a situation that you can't stand, but you're too scared to leave. This is the devil card. This is the deceiver. So there's somebody around you who deceives you, who lets you down, pulls the wool over your eyes, promises you the world delivers nothing. This can also mean you're tied down because of the money. You're feeling trapped because of the money. Or it could be because of an addiction or an abusive boss, an addictive personality, anything like that. But it is up to you to change that. And I feel for some of you right next to that, you've got the King of Swords. So some of you may need to get legal advice about a situation. The King of Swords can represent a lawyer. This is someone who works with their brain. They're very clever. They're at the top of their field. But it can also represent other things too, your own self, using your own ability to think of how to change the situation that you're in. Right, underneath the Ace, Ace of Swords, you've got the lovely Three of Cups. So here you are celebrating with friends or family, people that you are close to. And under the Ten of Cups, so you've got the Ace of Cups. Oh, hang on. The Ace of Swords... The Ten of Cups, the Three of Cups, and the Sun. Woohoo, if you can see that. Whoops, it's slipping away. Ace, Ten, Three, and Sun. All creating like a quadrangle. The Sun card, fantastic. This is where everything you're, you're doing, what you're planning to, to do with your new Ace of Swords information, um, you know, coming up with new plans is going to be positive and happy. So it's going to bring you the things that you want. So you're planning something, um, obviously, to earn more money, I would say, from the look of this reading, um, or to make some money or something, or to bring about new happiness. But the new plan is going to be very, very positive and um, be really, really good for you. And I feel that whatever you're doing, people love what you do because this is the Six of Wands. It's like recognition. People love what you're doing. So whether it's baking, looking after people, gardening, or you're in a high-powered IT job, you do a really good job. And then you've got the Emperor. So this is about dealing with someone who's quite powerful. Um, it can be about you learning to boss up and taking control, working for yourself, learning to delegate too. You're very strong at what you do. You may be some of you dealing with a government department. And like I said, right next to that is the King of Swords. So there's somebody there who works with their brain. They could be an IT person, a lawyer, a teacher. Somebody like that is around you or you guys learning to work with your brain and learning to delegate, learning new things, getting advice on things. Then covering the whole reading. Actually, this week, I forgot to say, it was quite a karmic week for you guys. You've got six major arcana, which means you're in the right place at the right time to learn what it is that you need to be learning. You have the high priestess. So this is where you have been hiding away a bit, maybe not trusting your own intuition, 
asking angels and guides for help, but nothing's really been happening because it's all about divine timing. But they're saying, look, come out now. The waters are going to be calm. Follow your intuition. You're ready for that next adventure. You're ready for the next phase in your life because good, look what it's right next to, the world. Woohoo! Here's you guys leaving behind your old, old world, moving into your new world. The world is your oyster. You can take control. You can do it. And then you've got the Page of Swords. So a lot of readers are saying, oh, someone's spying on you, someone's looking at you. But I see the Page of Swords. Swords are a thinking card. Look at this. It represents knowledge. You're learning something. You're researching something. You're looking up something on the internet. You're, you might be using the King of Swords to ask questions, get advice, and you are learning about that. And then you've got another story going on here. Um, you're coming out of the dark into the light, so some of you have been floating around in a bit of fug, not knowing where to go, what, what direction, but now you can see exactly where you want to anchor yourself to make yourself feel more secure. You're going to be, you've got two eights here, two karmic. You're going to be rushed off your feet in this coming week. You're going to be, so this is about victory too. News coming in, information coming in, lots of emails, texts, phone calls, and you're going to be as busy as hell. If you want to make money, put your head down, ass up, and get on with it. This is all about transformation. Um, put the work in, whether it's a relationship or earning money. Eight of pentacles. Pentacles to me is money. Put the work in, and you will get the results which will transform you and transform your life, and everything is about to change. So go with the wheel. The card after that was the hermit too. So some of you need some time out because you're rushing around and you're working on everything, coming up with new plans and ideas. You will need a bit of a rest and time for yourself after that, towards the end of the week, perhaps the next weekend, um, to have that time out just for you with no one around you. Okay, Virgo, what do you need to know? You've got writing. So important information needs to be recorded for legal reference or for your own peace of mind. Put pen to paper and write it all down. So some of you who might be in the arts or crafts or whatever, or you're inventing something, writing something, Make sure you've got your name written across it or if you're putting it online, put, put your business name across it so other people can't copy it. So um, you may even want to register for copyright or if for others of you, you're dealing with the government department and a lawyer or something like that, something needs to be written down in writing. Written down in writing, well, what else would it be? <laughs> and you guys have got Jesus acts of service when you serve the universe serves you so when you give out to other people and you help other people that will come back to you tenfold to, uh, Capricorn be patient you have got spirit is working behind the scenes to make things happen so often we rush around we want it to happen now it's not happening we wonder why because there is a divine timing involved you don't need to do anything just now is all will soon unfold just as it is meant to be. So I would say this has come up for now in the beginning of the week, but I feel like by the end of the week or the weekend, you're just going to be all over the place, rushing, very busy. And you've got Mary Magdalene, sacred vessel. You are the answer. Be guided to your purpose. So you already know. You know what to do. You've got that information in there. That's what that Ace of Swords is too. It's you've got the key to universal knowledge within you. You know what to do. You've got the High Priestess as well. Unlocking that knowledge, trusting your own instinct, following your own guidance. Okay? And Taurus, you have got new beginnings. Change is afoot. Exciting new adventures and opportunities are on the way. Tie up loose ends and be open to new possibilities, Taurus. Woohoo, that's exciting. Dragonflies are all about hope, faith and transformation too. And then you've got Mart, divine intervention. Weigh up your options and choose the highest good. Okay, weigh up your options and choose the highest good. So sometimes if you're applying for jobs or rent or something or anything like that, it's the money might not be the important thing. It might be the surroundings, where you're going to feel comfortable, where you're going to feel happy is way more important. Okay, lovelies, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. I read all your comments. Please tell me where you're watching from. from. I find it amazing and really, really interesting. So thanks again. See you all again. Ka kiri anō. Bye.